In this video, we're going to talk about a feature in Write2 Pro that allows you to quickly access the reclassify page. The current workflow requires you to click on accounting tools, then reclassify transactions, then manually pick the date range, and then go down here and pick the account you want to filter. Sometimes it's a lot of clicks to get to exactly where you want to go. And one of the best places to kind of start the process of reclassifying is while inspecting or evaluating reports. So essentially what we uh, come up with, it's a way for you to quickly go through the report that you want to look at, like a P&L or a balance sheet, and pick the account that you want to reclassify and go straight to reclassify that account. Now let's click on the right tool settings and let's turn on, let's talk about which features we have turned on. So under Accountant Pro, we turned on this feature called reclassify from reports. So you have to turn that one on at the very least. And then under classic reports, you have to turn on this one called enable right click on classic reports. Now I recommend you also turn on auto switch to classic view because this specific um, feature doesn't work on the modernized reports. And I'll show you, I'm going to turn that off for a second and uh, go back into the reports. But I do recommend using auto switch classic view. So anyway, we're in the profit and loss report. Let's pick a very specific date range. Let's say we want, want to look at September through maybe the end of November and then click on uh, run report. And then we're going through and then we see a particular line that we want to uh, reclassify transactions under it. So all we have to do is click on the actual number. We're going to right click. Okay, right click on the actual number. And then we're going to go down here where it says open QBO reclassify. So it's in the right click context menu now. So we added that through the right tool extension. So once we click on open QBO reclassify, a new tab will open. The date range of the actual report will automatically populate and a filter for the specific account that you clicked on shows up automatically. So it saves you all the clicks of, of figuring out, trying to find the specific account that you want to reclassify transactions from. What's also really neat is if I'm looking at the profit and loss and I actually click on the transaction, so I drill down on the transaction, and while I'm looking at the, at the drill down, I can actually right click anywhere on the screen and then do the same thing. Click on open QBO reclassify and then it will do the exact same thing. It will go into the specific page. Uh, so even if you click anywhere on, on the screen, the right click, it actually doesn't, you don't have to click any, any specific number. It actually knows logically that you happen to be in a drill down. That's why it's going to do that. Now, I'm going to go back here for a second and just show you that if I happen to be in the modern view or the modernized uh, uh, view of the reports, it actually doesn't work here. I can't, um, I can't go straight into it. Like the, the, the right click works, open QBO reclassify, it's there. But when I click on that, it just takes me to the generic reclassified transaction. It doesn't do the actual filtering. There's actually no way for us to do it through the screen. So you have to be in the classic view for you to, uh, well, I mean, I think it's still cool that you can right click and go to open reclassify. It's still really quick for you to get there. However, the trick of this whole thing is to actually get to the specific filter. So you have to be on the classic review and the classic view of the reports to be able to do that right click, go to QBO reclassify and already have those filters pre-populate for you, which is why one of the recommendations was to turn on auto switch classic view. And then obviously you don't even have to worry about it. As you drill down through the reports, you're always going to be using uh, the, the classic view and this right click uh, it, this right click feature to go into back into the reclassify screen with the filters is always going to be working on the classic view. So I hope that's helpful.